सो लेट्स मूव टू अनदर वन अजय ओके अजय सो स्विच कोर्स योर अप्लाइंग फॉर द क्राइस यूनिवर्सिटी अप्लाइड फॉर बीकॉम ऑनर्स रेगुलर ओके सो फर्स्टली इंट्रोड्यूस योरसेल्फ देन अस विल मूव टू अस अनदर वन सो फर्स्टली थैंक यू फॉर गिविंग दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू इंट्रोड्यूस माइसेल्फ एंड माइसेल्फ अजय आई एम फ्रॉम मंगापेट इन कोला डिस्ट्रिक्ट and i done my schooling from kgf in jain school and i did my pre university from stc in bagapet from commerce street and i second 90% in my class 12 and i was i was among the top performers in the class and uh, i also represented division level in kabaddi and district level in cricket and some of my interest include reading books playing sports and i also like to watch web series and documentaries in my free time i'm a ambitious and a disciplined person and i'm adaptable to new environments easily and i consider these to be my strengths thank you again so guys do you have any a cross question so anyone with so us mayank or anshuman do you have any cross question related to this yeah yeah uh, no, no. Uh, uh, i just wanted to ask like how to manage team as a leader so firstly you need to know what are the intents of your group members over there and uh, you have to also take their interest into consideration and work uh, upon them also and i think this is one of the way to manage the team okay so deep scary on yeah so i think majority of them are here from commerce stream yeah okay so uh my question is like do you guys know about what is equity marginal utility can you explain that equity marginal utility yeah equity marginal equity utility sorry uh, i'm not familiar with that okay uh, so so do you know what is the current gdp growth rate of india so i'm not familiar with that okay give me some uh, basic difference between micro and macro economics so the some of the difference between micro and macro economics is micro focus on an individual like a company or a group of people whereas in macro economics it focus on the country like the unemployment gdp and uh, many other factors which are in a large scale okay so how how do you differentiate between nominal and real interest rate um sorry sir i don't know that okay can you explain the concept of diminishing marginal utility of money just marginal utility of money yeah uh, actually the diminishing marginal utility i know the general concept so i don't know, i don't know what is related to money so okay So any one of you from here, like Rohit or anyone, can you uh, tell the difference between uh, nominal and nominal and real interest rate? No, sir. Even I'm not sure about that. No, sir. Same here. Then write this okay. question and just go through. Yeah, uh, this is a very important. If you don't know, write it down. You can search it. Okay do you guys know anything about price discrimination No Okay okay uh, What do you understand uh, by liquidity ratio liquidity ratio refers to the ratio which shows that either the organization can meet its short term and long term um uh, requirement of money or not okay okay what do you mean by inferior good uh goods which are easily available okay can you give some examples uh sugar 
Okay. Can inferior goods be defined in another way? Yeah, it's according to you, like anything you would like to define it. In your own words, you can. But you should know the concept. That's what matters. Like, like can I tell that uh, inferior goods refers to the basic goods whose demand, uh, whose price and demands are directly like inversely uh, proportional. If demand increases, uh, if price increases, demand decreases, and if price decreases, demand increases. Yeah, you can say that, but uh, I think it's little bit long definition for a term like inferior goods. Which can be easily. So, but will it give a positive? Will it be a positive or negative for me? Ah, uh, it can be both. Like, it's your choice. Like, if you wanna answer, you can. There's no negative for it. Okay. So there's no drawback of giving a long answer. No, like no, 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 no. But like, if they ask a general question, like too basic question, you should be giving a uh, too crisp, simple, and short answer because. They are all the interviewers are always in a hurry, so they try to like answer the maximum questions. So okay, if you so think any answer. point, so if you think any point which is not necessary to give, you can uh, always try to give a short and simple answer. So you'll be having more time to answer as many questions as possible. Do you want to know like anything about uh, the Christ, uh, this course features and how your department yeah, really will be like? Events which are organized for BBA, uh, BBA honors and honors in research. Okay, BBA honors that is in like uh, their uh, BGR campus, right? No, no, it is in uh, all the three campus, like uh, central. Uh, how uh, like? Yeah. Central में नहीं है भाई. BBA है 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 मैं apply किया हूँ. यार कहाँ से आ गया भाई business department में अभी तो हमारे दो course हैं. एक है BBA है general और एक है. हाँ BBA general की बात है वो generally है BBA honours and honours which research जो है ना उसको generally मानते हैं. So you know, so right now as Dev is in Christ University and he is doing as his BBA in Decision Science. ये तुम लोग जहाँ जाने वाले हो, so he is related to this department. So if you have any doubt, so अभी नहीं पूछना है, अभी तो question answering जो होता session के बाद, तो so you can ask or question to Dev. Okay. So let's move the micro presentation. Anshuman, so what's your micro presentation? Uh, so it was uh, right to freedom of speech and expression. Okay. Can I start? Yeah. Uh, right to freedom of speech and expression is one of the fundamental uh, one of the six fundamental rights. Uh, as per Article 19, Clause 1, uh, freedom of speech and expression has been conferred by the Constitution to the citizens of India. Uh, freedom of speech and expressions uh, uh, expression gives us the opportunity to give our opinion on certain topic as well as it help uh, it helps us to hold accountable to the government as well as the authority uh, it it also helps the uh, minority communities uh, to raise their voice against the injustice they uh, they are facing uh, we can see the news channels in our country are the biggest uh, user of the freedom of uh, speech and expression. Uh, but this freedom of speech and expression can be curtailed up to a certain limit because uh, if it hampers the, uh, if it threatens the integrity and sovereignty of India and it also threatens the relationship uh, between India and some other countries. Uh, so, uh, so what I feel is that freedom of speech and expression uh, need to be diligently used by the citizens of our country because in this era of social media, uh, this freedom of speech are being used uh, very, uh, uh, very badly, uh, which is creating a big chaos in our country as well as uh, India is a diverse country uh, where uh, different religions are there. So we need to use it very diligently. With this, I would like to sign off. Thank you. Okay, that's great, Anshuman. Uh, so. 
थैंक यू सो हु नेक्स्ट हु नेक्स्ट सो मैंने इनका जो अजय यू नो यार यू डिन्ट गिव मी द माइक्रो प्रेजेंटेशन टॉपिक नाउ ओके सो नाउ आई विल गिव यू अस माइक्रो प्रेजेंटेशन टॉपिक जस्ट वेट and i think the government should uh, make any initiatives and bring awareness to the people to uh, save the water and keep it for the uh, preserve the water for the next generation with a uh, good quality and uh, also uh, traditional methods over and over period but nowadays uh, technology uh, played a very prominent role as in business uh, 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 it gives new approach how to handle uh, today's world and uh, it provided faster and more uh, convenient uh, ways for performing business transactions uh, like uh, for example in today's world uh, accounting softwares being used for uh, for uh, recording transactions and management uses many uh, scientific data for uh, their uh, efficient uh, efficient decisions and this how technology played a very good role in today's business and i feel uh this will create uh, uh this will create a uh, uh. done yes sir i then you have to uh, do like as a better end okay okay that's all right as so if you know i uh, and this topic as if you um, like stuck uh, in some line so from there as you can say so thank you so thank you for giving me this topic or i can sign out like that okay 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 so that's great guys uh, so this is all about our session i think uh, only four members are there so that's why people are not as very interested to us uh, take a group interview so that's why i am not taking but uh, yeah so this is uh, all about your group interview so guys if you have any doubt then please, please you can ask now sir uh, yashwantpur campus or uh, central campus mein uh, main difference kya hai join karne ke liye matlab agar yashwantpur mil raha hai to uh, koi problem hai ya fir koi centrally choose karna chahiye तो मेन थिंग इज की